My name is uh, Kevin Sarah. I'm the founder and CEO of Noor Energy. We're a multi-country um, solar development company. With uh, We've been developing in Southern Europe, but also in North Africa. We have a very large solar export project in, uh, in Africa, in, in, in Tunisia, which will export towards um, the European market. Hi, my name is Nishwa Sati. I'm a project developer at Nor Energy. Uh, I'm particularly interested in developing concentrated solar power plants in the sub saharan region. Kevin, what is concentrated solar power, CSP? Well, CSP is uh, it's the other kind of solar power. The, the most common one is known as PV, PV photovoltaic. And um, CSP is not on an electric, it's not the direct conversion of electrical energy, uh, solar energy to electrical energy, but you produce heat, you concentrate heat, and from the heat you make electricity. And the advantage of going through heat is that you can store the heat, so you can continue to generate electricity after the sun goes down. That's the big difference. But the just to be clear, actually what you're doing is you're taking the heat and putting the heat into a liquid that then generates that's correct. It generates steam, and then you, it goes through a classic steam turbine and electrical generator, just like you do if you were burning coal or a nuclear power plant. It's the, the same idea, except we get our heat from the sun. Nashua, how big is the project that's being developed in Tunisia? Uh, the Tunisia project is a 2 gigawatt solar export project, um, and its plan is to export electricity from Tunisia to central Italy. And how will it do that? I mean, uh, through a high voltage DC submarine cable. And what's the timetable for the project, if I all mean, goes well? We're planning to export power by 2018, so we could potentially be um, importing power to the UK um, by 2018 um, to provide electricity to 2.5 million UK homes. And you've also looked at the opportunities in the northern part of sub-Saharan Africa. Tell me a little about that. I mean, we've done an investigation into the current energy um, installed energy into in sub-Saharan region, um, countries like uh, Niger and Chad, um, which all depend on imported oil products, which is very expensive. Um, and at the moment, concentrated solar power is lower than grid parity, so it's cheaper to uh, build a solar power plant than a conventional power plant in these regions. One of the key countries is Ethiopia. Tell me, tell me why that's the case. I mean, Ethiopia is interesting because they've already started developing um, potential uh, renewable energy projects uh, with particular emphasis on hydropower plants. Um, they're also investing a lot into their transmission grid um, and developing interconnectors with other countries like uh, Sudan and Kenya, which means that it has a potential to be a net exporter of electricity. Uh, Kevin, what's the financing? How much is this going to cost? And Well, um, the cost of CSP technology, it's known to be a more expensive technology than PV, but it's coming down quite rapidly. We've seen in the last couple of years the entrance of the, the Chinese technology players in the CSP market, and we expect them to do the same thing as they did in the PV market, which is a rapid decline in, the, in, in pricing. But our project in Tunisia is a very large project. I mean, it's the size of a cup couple of nuclear power plants. Mm. So it's, there's, a, there's a 10 billion euro budget, but that includes an export cable to Italy, which is 600 kilometers long. But we believe that even with these costs, we can offer price competitive electricity, which is going to be, a, at, we can sell it at a lower cost than, for example, offshore wind. And the cable to Italy is, is in effect one of the first sort of sustainable energy export corridors to, to Europe. Tell, tell me a bit more about who might use it and how. Yeah, it's a, it's a dedicated cable for, for renewable energy. There are other um, similar cables, but within Europe, for example, Norway exports hydropower to Holland mm. through a dedicated cable, which is about the same length as the cable that we want to, to put in. But we believe that our cable, once it's in place, we're only using about 60% of its capacity. So more capacity is available. And um, there are other re, you know, export projects um, that utilities and governments are thinking about, for example, in Egypt, in Algeria, in Ethiopia, and 
the grids are being reinforced. So eventually all of these other projects can use our cable in Tunisia and link up and export power to Europe. And one of the advantages of this particular type of um, power plant is the ability to assemble locally. Tell me what the econo how the economics of that and, and the construction of that works. Well, um, unlike PV, where you need big clean rooms and large volumes and economies of scale, you here we're talking about a lot of mechanical engineering, civil engineering, local steel works, mirrors, glass. These are all very basic in the industrial processes, which can be mastered and which are mastered by many of the, the countries already. So they're able to slip right into the supply chain for a CSP project. And we estimate that up to 60% of the budget budget can be spent in the, the countries where we're building the projects. So this will have a tremendous impact on the local economic development. Nashua, these, these kinds of power plants could be used in sub-Saharan Africa yeah. um, on a standalone basis at a much smaller level. Describe how that might work. I mean, we've looked at, you know, the the national electrification of countries in sub-Sahara region. So actually there are a lot of rural villages that aren't connected to the grid at all. So because there's high solar resource in that area and great climate conditions for this technology, it could definitely be integrated into off-grid solar resource, uh, solar rural areas.